right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope y'all doing all right, staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I hope that you have repented and that you are baptized. I pray that you are safe, sound, and protected. I pray that you are prayed up and that things are going better for you. I hope that the Most High gives you more strength and favor. And I hope that whatever situation or obstacle that you're going through, I pray that the Most High gets you through it and that you come out stronger and wiser than you already are right now, right? Now, in today's message, I just want to discuss about how much, how great he is, his glory, and just talk about the goodness of God. You know, a lot of times people tend to be very ungrateful and tend to not appreciate things. They always have something to complain about or be bitter or sour about. But a lot of times you should be rejoicing. You should be thanking God for certain things that didn't go in your favor, didn't go your way. You should thank God for the doors that weren't open to you. You should thank God for the things that the Most High protected you from. A lot of times we tend to hurt ourselves or about to step into something that's going to hurt or damage us and won't even be grateful to thank him for it because people are such control freaks. People are so uh, eager to always want things to go their way in their fashion. When you truly submit to God, you understand that it's not about your way no more. When you truly are putting him first, you know it's all about him at the end of the day and not your little desires. Because a lot of times people tend to have bad intentions or tend to have certain agendas or self-serving things. But when we're serving God and we're doing things God's way, it's always going to be about him, his glory, the kingdom, his light being shined. It's also going to be about also blessing you in in in, in a situation. It's also about helping others along the way. Because God, we don't serve an empty handed God. Hallelujah. When we work for the Lord, it's not in vain. God is a huge rewarder to those who seek him. All right. And The Most High is so good to us, man. The Most High has protected us from so much things. He's protected us from so much near-death experiences. He's protected us through car accidents. He has protected us through disasters, through certain weather conditions. He has protected us through our life or job situations or financial situations. Like Even when you didn't have all the money or all the finance together, God still found a way to provide for you and help you. So we serve an awesome, merciful creator, okay? We should always give him all the praise and glory as soon as we wake up. We should always thank him every chance we get. Acknowledge him in all of our ways. You know, we should always just just magnify his name, you know, because there's so much things we could have easily got caught up with. There's so much things we could have easily got ensnared by and troubled in, but God saved us. God's mighty hand, his outstretched arm has saved us. Okay, so let's always be grateful for the things that we we were with the situation that we're in right now. Some of us might be in a tight spot right now, but the most high has you right where he needs you, okay? You might feel a certain way about a certain situation, but he's protecting you from something. Now if you're going through a very troubling time or what have you, use that tough time to for a testimony, you know what I mean, and trust him through it all, right? So what I'm gonna do is just read some scriptures that talks about the goodness of God. You know, because people all throughout the Bible, they always praise the most high and the goodness of him. And they also talk about the other side of the most high, where they can also talk about his anger, his wrath, you know, and things of that nature, you know, his judgment and things of that nature. That's why we have to we have to fear the most high more than ever, because we see all this prophecy being fulfilled. We see all this destruction and chaos and violence. We see all these crazy things in the world go on. But that's prophecy being fulfilled. All right. God saved Lot. God saved Lot out of Sodom and Gomorrah. He's going to save us out of a lot of those type of situations as well, okay? The Most High always protects his people. He always keeps his promise. He always keeps his covenant. We have to keep our, our, our end of the bargain, okay? We have to repent. We have to come back to the covenant. We have to live better and do better, okay? So let us give the Most High all the glory. and Let's just talk about these scriptures where it talks about the goodness of him and just go from there, okay? So here we go. The book of Psalm 27, verse 13. I would have despaired unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. The book of Psalm 23, verse 6. Surely goodness and love and kindness will follow me all the days of my life. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 65, verse 11. You have crowned a year with your bounty, and your paths drip with fatness. The book of Psalm 116, verse 12. What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits towards me? The book of Psalm 77, verse 11. I shall remember the deeds of the Lord. Surely I will remember your wonders of old. The book of Psalm 145, verse 7. 
They shall eagerly utter the memory of your abundant goodness and will shout joyfully of your righteousness. The book of Psalm 86, verse 17. Show me a sign for good that those who hate me may see it and be ashamed because you, O Lord, have helped me and comforted me. The book of Second Peter, chapter one, verse five. Now, for this very reason, also applying all diligence in your faith, supply moral excellence and in your moral excellence, knowledge. The book of Psalm 107, verse 9. For he has satisfied the thirsty soul, and the hungry soul he has filled with what is good. The book of Psalm 65, verse 4. How blessed is the one whom you chose and bring near to you. To dwell in your courts, we will be satisfied with the goodness of your house, your holy temple. The book of Psalm 16, verse 2. I said to the Lord, you are my Lord. I have no good besides you. The book of Psalm 31, verse 19, how great is your goodness, which you have stored up for those who fear you, which you have wrought for those who take refuge in you before the sons of men. The book of Psalm 34, verse 8, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. How blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. I love that scripture so much. All right. I love that one. The book of Psalm 119, verse 66. Teach me good discernment and knowledge, for I believe in your commandments. The book of Exodus, chapter 33, verse 19. And he said, I myself will make all my goodness pass before you and will proclaim the name of the Lord before you. And I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious and will show compassion on whom I will show compassion. The book of Romans, chapter 11, verse 22. Behold, then the kindness and severity of God to those who fell severity, but to you. God's kindness. If you continue in his kindness, otherwise you also will be cut off. The book of Psalm 103, verse 2. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget none of his benefits. The book of Psalm 33, verse 5. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the love and kindness of the Lord. The book of Psalm 21, verse 3. For you meet with him the blessings of good things. You set a crown of fine gold on his head. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 33, verse 9. It will be to me a name of joy, praise, and glory before all the nations of the earth, which will hear of all the good that I do for them. And they will fear and tremble because of all the good and all the peace that I make for it. The book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 6. Many a man proclaims his own loyalty, but who can find a trustworthy man? The book of Psalm 118, verse 17. I will not die, but live and tell of the works of the Lord. The book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 14. And concerning you, my brethren, I myself also am convinced that you yourselves are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge and able to admonish one another. The book of Psalm 25, verse 7. Do not remember the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your love and kindness, remember me for your goodness sake, O Lord. Book of Psalm 69, verse 16. Answer me, O Lord, for your loving kindness is good. According to the greatness of your compassion, turn to me. The book of Psalm 100, verse 5. For the Lord is good, his loving kindness is everlasting, and his faithfulness is to all generations. The book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. The book of Psalm 145, verse 8. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and great in loving kindness. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 2, verse 3. If you had tasted the kindness of the Lord. The book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 9. For the fruit of the light consists in all goodness and righteousness and truth. The book of Psalm 85, verse 10. Loving kindness and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. The book of Hebrews, chapter 6, verse 5, and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the age to come. The book of Numbers, chapter 10, verse 32. So it will be if you go out, if you go with us, that whatever good the Lord does for us, we will do for you. The book of Psalm 107, verse 31. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his love and kindness and for his wonders to the sons of men. The book of Romans, chapter 2, verse 4. Or do you think lightly of the riches of his kindness and tolerance and patience, not knowing that the kindness of God leads you to repentance? The book of Philemon, chapter 1, verse 14. 
But without your consent, I did not want to do anything so that your goodness would not be in effect by compulsion, but of your own free will. The book of Second Samuel, chapter two, verse six. Now may the Lord show loving kindness and truth to you. And I also will show this goodness to you because you have done this thing. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 14. I will fill the soul of the priest with abundance and my people will be satisfied with my goodness, declares the Lord. The book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 21. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. The book of Exodus, chapter 33, verse 18. Then Moses said, I pray you, show me your glory. The book of Titus, chapter 3, verse 4. But when the kindness of God, our Savior, and his love for mankind appeared. The book of Second Peter, chapter 1, verse 3. Seeing that his divine power has granted to us everything pertaining to life and godliness through the true knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and excellence. The book of Psalm 103, verse 5, who satisfies your years with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagle. The book of Acts, chapter 14, verse 17. And yet he did not leave himself without witness and that he did good and gave you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons, satisfying your hearts with food and gladness. The book of Psalm 142, verse 7, Bring my soul out of prison, so that I may give thanks to your name. The righteous will surround me, for you will deal bountifully with me, bountifully with me. The book of Psalm 36, verse 5, Your love and kindness, O Lord, extends to the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. The book of Psalm 52, verse 1, For the choir director, a masculine of David, when Doeg the Edomite came and told Saul and said to him, David has come to the house of Ahimelech. Why do you boast in evil, almighty man? The love and kindness of God endures all day long. The book of Psalm 71, verse 15. My mouth shall tell of, tell of your unrighteousness and of your salvation all day long, for I do not know the sum of them. The book of Psalm 145, verse 4. Our generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. Uh huh. Yes, yes. The book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 14. And concerning you, my brethren, I myself also am convinced that you yourselves are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge and able also to admonish one another. Admonish one another. The book of Second Peter, chapter 1, verse 5. Now, for this very reason, also applying all diligence in your faith, supply moral excellence and in your moral excellence knowledge. The book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 14, the backslider in heart will have all his will have his fill of his own ways, but a good man will be satisfied with his. The book of Matthew, chapter 20, the, the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 35, the good man brings out of his good treasure what is good and the evil man brings out of his evil of his evil treasure what is evil. The book of Luke, chapter six, verse 43 through 45. For there is no good tree which produces bad fruit, nor on the other hand, a bad tree which produces good fruit. For each tree is known by its own fruit. For men do not gather figs from thorns, nor do they pick grapes from a bar, brier bush. The good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth what is good, and the evil man out of the evil treasure brings forth what is evil. For his mouth speaks from that which, his, which fills his heart. The book of Proverbs chapter 12 verse 2. A good man will obtain favor from the Lord, but he will condemn a man who devises evil. The book of John, the book of John, chapter five, verse 26 through 29. For just as the father has life in himself, even so he gave to the son also to have life in himself. And he gave him authority to execute judgment because he is the son of man. Do not marvel at this for an hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice. And will come for those who did the good deeds to a resurrection of life, those who committed the evil deeds to a resurrection of judgment. The book of Psalm 37, verse 3, trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and cultivate faithfulness. The book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 10. So then while we have opportunity, let us do good to all people and especially to those who are of the household of the faith. The book of Luke chapter 20, the Luke, the book of Luke chapter six, verse 27 through 28. But I say to you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. 
the book of First Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 15. See that no one repays another with evil for evil, but always seek after that which is good for one another and for all people. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 43 through 44. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 43 through 44. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. That's a challenging thing for a lot of people to do, especially in these times that we're in. Very different situations for everybody, you know. Now, let's see. The book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 17 through 21. Never pay back evil for evil to anyone. Respect what is right in the sight of all men. If possible, so far as it depends on you, be at peace with all men. Never take your own revenge, beloved, but leave the room for, for the wrath of God. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. But if your enemy is hungry, feed him. And if he is thirsty, give him a drink. For in so doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not become, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. The book of Mark, chapter 10, verse 18. And Jesus said to him, why do you call me good? No one is good except God alone. The book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness. Uh -huh. So there you have it, people. Those are the scriptures when it comes to the goodness of God and also how we should share that goodness among others as well. You know, what good is talking about how great God is if we're not showing his love, we're not showing his light, we're not showing his works, right? So we have to glorify God in everything that we do. And when we do with people, the same way God gives us that patience and love, we have to pass that on to others as well. You know, we got to keep doing good for God. We have to keep being faithful because God is faithful, all right? We have to always have a great attitude towards people from the most highest view. All right. We always know that the goodness of God is amazing. He is the provider, the only provider. Hallelujah. Goodness can be as a fruit of the spirit as well. So can kindness. All right. Let's overcome all these things with love and goodness. All right. The grace of God is amazing. OK, so let's stay steadfast. All right. Just for our own soul's sake. Hallelujah. So there you have it, people. And as you can see, with most of the scriptures, when it talks about goodness, it's mostly Psalms and mostly David talking about it. Because David, being a musician, he always expressed how good God was, you know. And David was a man who messed up and made many bad choices and had flaws. And so was other people in the Bible. And so is we. You know, all of us have made not the best decisions. And we've all had our flaws as well. We all fell short of the glory of God. So we have to always have that meekness and humility. And we always have to keep seeking the goodness of God. Even though mercy and goodness are false the days of our life, we still have to always keep seeking the most high, keep pleasing him, keep having that faith. And just stay loyal to them, all right? Because in these end times, things are getting more intense and weird. And we have to get more blessed and obedient, all right? So there you have it, people. What I would love to do as we close out is give all the glory to the Most High of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise his only begotten Son who died for our sins, all right? So here we go. He is the Adam, the Advocate, the Almighty, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. Amen. The Apostle of our profession, the Arm of the Lord. The atonement sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and protector of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved Son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler. Yes, 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 he is the beginning of creation of God. Yes, he is, yes, he is. He is the branch, the bread of God. The bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father, the faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, first born from the dead. Firstborn over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things. Yes, yes, he is the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the image of God, Jehovah, 
Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, King eternal, King of Israel, King of kings and Lord of lords, King of the saints, King of the ages, King of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the life of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Yahweh, Ahaya, Shah, Mahamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, our righteousness, Elohim, Emmanuel, Lord of all, Lord of glory, Yeshua, Lord of lords, man from heaven, man of sorrows, mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God, a savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice to Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the ruler of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine, the truth, the way, the way, the truth, and life, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of God, the word of life, the word. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes, yes. We serve an awesome creator and we praise an amazing son who died for our sins. Yes, yes, yes. In the authority and the power of the name of Jesus Christ, we touch and agree. Amen. All right. So there you have it, people. Okay. Just want to share the, and express the goodness of God, and how great he is. You know, we got to take our time out to just give him thanks, man. A lot of people aren't even doing that no more. You know, I, you know, people are just so hungry and desperate and they just want materialistic things so much. But we should want God's goodness more. We should want his favor more. We should want his presence and his protection more. We need his favor and mercy more. OK, so let's always seek that and embrace that and be glad in it. OK, so there you have it, people. I pray to God that whoever listens to this message, I pray that you get baptized. You start your life over for the most high. I pray that you repent and you have new beginnings. I pray that your life turns around for the better. I pray that you have better habits, better routines, a better mindset. I pray that you have a renewed mind in Christ. I pray that the Most High gives you a new heart. And I pray that the Most High restores your soul. I pray that the Most High cleans your slate. I pray that he wipes away your past. I pray that he gives you blessed hands to work hard in and prosper. I pray that he bless your footsteps and he blesses your path. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.